Hello everybody and welcome to this video where today we are going to do a slight review on these two books. Um, they're both by Matthew Stegman. This is If Anyone Can Hide It, It's Me. And this one is Parallel Universe Me Has No Scars. These are, these are great um, titles. I just read something on the back of this that cracked me up. So yeah, so let's get into these, okay? So the first one here, If Anyone Can Hide It, It's Me. I'm going to read to you what it says on the back here. If Anyone Can Hide It, It's Me is Matthew Stegman's debut as an author. Separated into four sections... This book is a collection of poetry and short narratives describing his struggle over the inability to handle a failing relationship, as well as the spiral into unhealthy coping mechanisms, the realization of his trauma and depression, and finally, acceptance. It is compiled of moments of overwhelming emotion where all he could do was write something down. However, everything is fleeting. This includes a majority of those emotions. This was his first step into becoming more than he was. If you are into the idea, and there's, it says like there's like illustrations by Hal Gray or Hal Gray. There's not a ton. They're pretty cool. I dig them, but there's just not very many of them. The poems themselves are uh pretty cool like here i'll read one to you this is called sleeping mostly alone there's blood in my mouth i've tasted it all day grinding my teeth at the thought of you i realize now why my jaw hurts when i wake up why i sleep on one side and not the other i'm hoping things will change i'm hoping to wake up and not expect you to be there So there's, they're just really, like, brutally honest poems. So with that sense, I really like the poems themselves. Um, going back and forth between poems and prose, because every section ends with something like this, um, and then each, I guess each act has a drawing or illustration in it. Um, if you're into that kind of thing, then this is the kind of thing you're going to be into. Um, the poems themselves are solid. Okay. Um, I feel like, like with a lot of poetry books I've read lately, I feel like they're, um, there's more gimmick than poem. And whenever you base something on a gimmick, like, you're selling your poem short. And the poems in this book are fucking good enough to not have to rely on other shit. So that's kind of where I'm torn. Because if you remember, I did a book review not too long ago, and the book was so gimmicky that it was hard for me to even pay attention to the poems. This, on the other hand, the poems are really good. Okay. So that's this one here. And then Parallel Universe Me Has No Scars. I love the title of this. I fucking love the title of this. Um, the cover artwork, if you can see it, is pretty cool fucking too. This one is um, not as... It, it doesn't have the same kind of device... Well, kind of. I mean, this one just has more poems and then there'll be like a little prose section with a title or whatever. There, There's just some stuff like this right here, like infatuation, noun, and like going through the thing. That reminds me of the exact same gimmick that was in that, oh, you thought this was a date, didn't you? Same kind of thing. Again, these are ones that it looks like he created himself. It's not like he was just like taking definitions and putting them down. But um, there's some really like short little stories in here. And then the poems kind of connect like that. So it's a little different. 
like the poems are then based it seems like the poems are based on what the prose pieces are so Again, if you're into that, this is the kind of stuff you're going to dig. Um, Parallel Universe Me Has No Scars is a collection of four poetry and short essay chapbooks by Matthew Stig. The Last Flamingo, Memory, Memory, Absolute Absence, ro- wait, Absolute Absence Romance, and Parallel Universe Me Has No Scars. Each section is a peek into the author's mind as he depicts his experiences, delusions, thoughts, and complaints. Have you found yourself on the opposite side of a mirror? Have you thought yourself close to insanity? Have you paved over your entire childhood? Have you seen your death in the body of others? This collection of poetry seeks out the answers each poem reflects a moment of overwhelming emotion that the author chose to express by writing down this collection was tailored to matthew's design it's unapologetic and only asks to exist just as we all simply seek to exist okay so this is the book Again, um, Matthew's poetry is strong enough to not rely on other shit, like, completely. So, if you like the sound of that poem I read, um, definitely check it out. Um, The poems are worth the read, especially if you kind of want to be taken on that journey it is very depressing shit so if you aren't in a good space if you're going to be triggered easily you might want to skip them but if you dig that kind of like super like raw poetry then that is something to dig into so matthew thank you for sending me those books i appreciate it tons man and i can't wait to see what you do next ice cream trucks coming so i gotta wrap this up so anyway um blood rag issue 14 out now uh buddy wilds poet of the year blood rag is out now drinking less is out now bloodshed review number two is out number three might already be out by the time this goes up i don't know um and again when your mom saw me price for poetry make sure you get that and type art everybody And I will talk to you all later. I just want to give a quick thanks to those people who make these videos possible. Anarchy Crew and my followers on Patreon. I appreciate the hell out of you guys. Thank you so much for keeping me going to keep this content possible. You guys are awesome. And if you'd like to join the crew of the Anarchy Crew, just hit the join button beneath this video. And if you'd like to become a member of my Patreon, you can run over to the link down below to do that as well. Thank you.